Welcome to my pit, and do I ever have some trouble areas that I need to take care of? And all of them have to do with the fact that I have too much stuff and too much fabric. But I figured out a new way to organize all of my fabric. So hang on tight, and we're going to do this together. Hi friends, it's Amy, and I'm your sewing teacher. I'm here this week to talk to you a little bit about cleaning my space. Now, one of the things that I've always done is I've cleaned my space about every six months. Now, that doesn't include little tidy ups before I start a project, but that's a full out clean every six months of my room. And I do that because A, I'm a little bit of a fabric hoarder, and B, because I really feel as though it's a work in progress, making sure that you have everything in an organized manner. So today I wanna to share with you the new system of organization that I am creating for my fabric. And one of the reasons why I'm doing this is because I know that I need to be able to do a better inventory of my fabrics for my business but also because I want to be able to see a color story right off the bat and not have to really dig into different places to get it. Another reason is because this giant tower, I would like to get rid of it. So as you can see, it is being emptied slowly, but I wanted to share with you how I am doing this organizing. So what I am doing is I am folding all of my fabric on comic book boards really they help preserve the fabric they're the boards that you buy for comic book collecting that slide in behind the comic books and then you put them in plastic i'm using this to fold the fabric on now i know you can buy them a little bit bigger they're called magazine boards these ones were a great deal on amazon so i bought 400 of them i have just under to, under 100 left I've done all of my cotton, I've done all of my canvas and all my waterproof canvas and all my bag making supplies and now I'm on to my very last section of knits. So today I'm just going to show you how I fold this onto the boards and what it looks like and then I'm going to show you an after of my space. If this is the kind of content that you like, please give us a thumbs up and please, please give us a comment below. If you're new to the channel, please let me know where you're watching from. And if you have a comment about what one of your favorite organizational tricks in your room is or in your sewing space, please go ahead and tell me below. But let's go ahead and I'm going to show you how I fold this fabric. So as I said before, I am currently doing the knits, athletic knits and cotton lycra spandex of my collection. And I wanted to just show you how I, how I fold with these boards. I have watched a few people on the internet folding using these boards and there are different ways to do it. Um, I just open up the fabric. Now you can do anywhere from a half yard to a couple yards. I've done upwards of four yards of, of fabric onto a board. So all I do is I open it up in using the, the selvage at the top and it's folded over. So I have selvage to selvage and I just fold it over onto itself. Leave a little bit of the board at the top and I fold it onto itself. Um, when I'm doing cottons sometimes I will have my iron out and I will iron them because some of the edges are, are pretty rough and then I just flip and fold all the way down to the end and once I get to the end it's all beautiful on this board and I use these alligator clips that I also purchased from Amazon and I alligator clip it on. Now there are some people on YouTube that will show you how to fold so that you can fold it within itself and then you don't have to have any clips. But I really like the clips that keeps it in place. So that's what it ends up looking like. So I'm going to do a few more of different lengths of yardage and you can see how that works out.
Well, here it is, my friends. This is what it looks like at the end. On this side, you'll see all of my quilting cottons. They are by print, they're by licensed, and by solids. It feels so nice to see them all together like that. Then you see, oops, messy patterns. Still got to figure that one out. Then you move on to the next, and you'll see anything over 10 yards. Then we have more licensed knits and some patterned and solid knits. Then we have some athletic and cotton lycra and bag making materials and some waterproof canvas. In this cupboard's my interfacings and any specialty fabrics, minkies, and quilt toppers that I've worked on lately. And that's it. And it feels so good. And when I shut the doors, even through the doors, it looks fantastic. Well, my friends, I did it. It took me a couple days, but I managed to take that messy, messy cabinet and turn it into something that makes me feel so much better. Like a weight has been lifted off my shoulders. And as you noticed, that big wire eyesore is gone from my background. So nice to have that all taken care of and put away. Thanks so much for joining me on this journey today. If maybe you have a suggestion for that big messy spot where all my pattern tracings are, I'd love to hear it. And if this is the content that you like, a thumbs up will really help put me on that algorithm so more people can see this content. And if you're a new subscriber and you haven't been around, please check out the other videos. And also you click subscribe down below one of those areas and there's a bell beside it. And that bell will notify you when I upload on Sundays. Thanks so much, everybody. We'll see you next week.